Hi, I'm Heather Rather here at ENA. Today we're going to be doing a documentary on a man, boy still even, named Chester Newfield. Chester grew up in Prince George. He still attends the Utah Secondary School for his 20th year. Chester's a four-year-old man, complete with facial hair and the ability to buy alcohol. Well, you know, growing up, it was really tough. Um, I don't remember growing up, really. Growing up was hard. Um, my mom and my dad didn't really help me. I had no allowance. I'd get about five cents a year, and I'd have to spend it on stuff I didn't even like. I didn't even spend it on peanuts back then. I didn't know what peanuts were. Well, me and my girlfriend, uh, we've been on and off. Uh, I love her to heck, let me tell you. I love her to heck. Uh, her name's Cherry Bloomfield. She lives down on Sunset Boulevard. I don't even know what Sunset Boulevard is. I don't even know if it's a street. But she lives down there. Last I heard of her, she was working at a gas station, uh, pumping gas for everybody. But I haven't been calling her for a while. What am I, a phone book? Yeah, I met Chester at a local corner store. I was getting gummy bears and doors. And he was getting peanuts, obviously. So, uh, I don't know, I just, I really like the shirt. And he took me over to his place because he could drive. And that was basically the main reason why I started dating him. And we started to get, like, intimate, but I found a peanut. It was, like, squished between us. And ever since then, I just, I don't know, I can't bring myself to get close to him. And he's getting, like, gray hairs and stuff. Well, you know, I've been playing pool my whole life. I don't know what's up with it, but I'm just really good. There's something up here that's good with us working. I've got my own personal pool stick, but you know, I just go to pool halls with my buddies and hustle all the stinkers. That's what I call them. I call them the stinkers. Oh, peanuts. I'm going to show you guys one of my tricks I always use in the pool hall. You just got to spin the ball and let the ball do the work. I mean really good. These are good peanuts, let me tell ya. Well, peanuts are my best, my best thing. It's my main addiction, really. I started eating peanuts in grade eight when this locker buddy of mine named Charles, well, he had too much in his lunch. So he was like, Randy. My name was Randy back in the day. He said, Randy, do you want some peanuts? I have too many in my lunch. So I was like, what are peanuts? He's like, well, they're kind of like peanut butter, but in solid form. So I grabbed some peanuts, popped them in my mouth, like that, and I fell in love with them. Peanuts started me off on a whole track load of addictive stuff. All right, so Chester, he borrowed this camera bag last night. Look, there's peanuts, and I'm sure Oh, there's another one. Gosh. Peanuts in the camera bag. Chester, he, he very special case. I never see anything like that. I study a lot, very lot, and me never see it, ever. It's just, when he eat peanut, he gets stupider, half, half smarter than he was, and he gets stupider and stupider. It's some, some weird case of peanut stupidity. Especially, 
And I don't want him to come around and get me again. That's why I'm, I'm blacking out my face. So, so he doesn't get me. My mom even came to school to come and talk to Chester to work out our problems. But it finds out that they went to school together. So they used to go out. So Chester just starts hitting on her again. Well, when you buy alcohol for kids, it's not the same as buying alcohol for your son. Because the kids, they get, they get pushy with you. Like, they want their alcohol. They get mad at you when you just hop into the corner store and buy some peanuts. They're not like my son, though. My son pays me in peanuts. I'll get him booze for the rest of his life as long as he gets me peanuts. Well, you know, my mom, her name was Denise. And uh, she was a great old lady. I mean, she bought me stuff. She bought me a coat. She even helped me buy this shirt. But, uh, yeah, she's a great lady. When I was a little baby, she'd wipe the poopy off me, which was great because I didn't like being messy. So, uh, yeah, go Denise. Well, I don't really like that. <laughs> but I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. <laughs> My mustache is just fake. <laughs> in closing, Chester Nifield did die, tossing a peanut up in the air and choking on it. It was actually the first peanut he ever did catch in his mouth. Sadly, it was on his graduation day. As soon as he got his diploma, he did die. I'm Heather Rather. That's all for us here at ENA. Thank you and good night. Mmm, my name's Obi-Wan, and I don't like Siths. Mmm, my name's Darth Sidious. I don't like Obi-Wan. Well, maybe we should fight. I'll have a lightsaber. I don't think I need a lightsaber to beat Obi-Wan. Mmm, here's a peanut. I'm gonna throw a peanut at you. Oh! No, I didn't think peanuts were allowed. Mmm, mm. I'm gonna fight you now. Watch me kick your head. Now, I will release the power of the dark side. You know the dark side doesn't work on me. I have the force. <laughs> mm, you're very strong with the force, but the dark side's better. No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. You're immature. You're a more immature. You're double immature. Uh, you're immature plus affinity. No, uh, yeah, huh. You guys waste peanuts. <laughs> <laughs>